Yo, what's going on traders? It's your one and only skill coach, Tim Legion, and we're super excited having you all here today on this one, right? So today in this video, I will teach you what, what I call a multi-confluence strategy to trade the financial market profitably. So, uh, on this trade right now, I'm on the volatility 10 index, all right? And the combination of strategies I use for this uh, strategy is the support and resistance, the market structure and Fibonacci. Just three, these three confluences is enough for you to milk the market. It's Bullish Bay FX Academy, which you one and only Tim Legend. Right here, we never settle for less. We keep working, producing signals, and write videos to help you grow. And we can make it consistent profits with the top recommended broker, Derive. We keep trading, trading, and never settle for less till we get to the top. That's how we roll. Hit that little subscribe button there. Turn on the notification bell. Look, that bell is very important. Most of you have actually subscribed and I'm grateful for that. But you did not turn the notification bell. So why not use that opportunity right now to turn the bell on? All right, so I just have to put this one right beneath here. All right, so I'm, I'll be looking forward to placing another cell because I'm also working with price structure. Remember when we talk about price structure? Uh, let me just add more cells here. And I hope it goes in favor. All right, uh, let me see. Okay, so, Remember when we talk about price structure, we're talking about how the market moves in waves, all right? The market moves in waves, giving you some higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low for an, for an uptrend and lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high for a downtrend. So currently this is a downtrend in markets based on the fact that this is a one hour time frame. As you can see here, we have the higher highs and the higher, the lower lows and the lower highs, okay? So you can see exactly where I placed my first sell. All right, that was that was what we that's what we call a support turning resistance. Okay, so when we say support turning resistance, means price at the initial was finding support on that area. When we talk about support and resistance, we're talking about an area where price gets to and pushes back to the upside. You call it support. For instance, look here, price pushed back up. That's what support. Look here, it pushed back up from here to here. You can see two times it pushed back to the upside, meaning that's a support zone. All right. At this zone, price also find found little support to shoot straight to the upside. As you can see, all right. All right. So wherever price sits, all right, here now you can see this is a resistance. Price falls. So the, the easiest way to remember it is wherever price sits and shoots to the upside is support and wherever price gets resisted and shoots back down is resistance okay so you can see this is another support zone look the way price sat there for a while and before it went back to the upside look here so price sat on this particular zone so many times in the past all right and even when it came uh here you see it starts a little bit and then price here turned resistant also another thing is you can also add your fibonacci that is just for you to have more confluences okay so if you see, if you check out for instance uh let me bring in my fibonacci okay so right here if you can see here you would notice that price at 50 percent all right is beginning to fall back so that's one of the confidence why i'm also placing this trade on this second trade believing that it's gonna fall deep down to zero percent of the fibonacci okay so having your support and resistance and also having your fibonacci can also give you a good strategy okay it can give you a good strategy and a good edge against the market so remember the three things that i'm using here is the fibonacci the support and resistance and my market structure market structure is very crucial because you don't want to trade against the market where if the market is going bullish you want to look for buying opportunities trade with the with the trend and if it's going bearish you want to go bearish too by selling trade with the trend don't go against the trend unless you're a scalper you just want to get in grab some pips and leave okay 
but if you want to hold long term like this for me right now i've been holding this for a couple of hours okay so like i always tell some people define who you are are you a scalper or a day trader so i hope you found this video helpful guys if so smash the like button drop your comments if you have any questions so i will use it to create another video for you guys and don't forget to smash the subscribe button if you haven't